We're about to do a, an MET technique for an anteriorly rotated innominate. So we've got the pelvis, sometimes we'll see one innominate, one side of the pelvis can be anteriorly rotated or tilted. We're going to try to correct that with this MET. So we take this hip up into hip flexion, let's say that's this side, the left side, that's anteriorly tilted or rotated. We're going to place a hand on the distal hamstrings and then take the hip right up into hip flexion. And the reason we're placing a hand here is when we cue them to push their leg back against my hand, I want them to use the hamstrings and glutes for that contraction, not the quads, which people sometimes do if you place your hand here. If I say push like this, he may have a tendency to want to straighten his knee as opposed to extend the hip, which is the move that we want him to do. So hand in this position, we take up the slack on that tissue, push him into hip flexion, find that bind, and ask the client then to push against you with a gentle contraction for seven to 10 seconds. So we'll do that for a start. That activates those extensors of the hip. After the seven to 10 seconds, he relaxes. We then quickly shift that leg across. I slide my hand underneath his pelvis onto that side and roll the hip back onto my palm. The tips of my fingers are sitting up against the iliac crest. I'm gonna use that as a purchase point to grab onto and pull down. So we've rolled that over sits onto the hand, I then encourage a little bit more posterior rotation with this hand, with the hand on the knee, so tilting that backwards and at the same time pulling down on the pelvis to create that posterior rotation, so to correct an excessively anteriorly rotated pelvis. So we all know with MET, after we get a contraction, we have this period of post-isometric relaxation. We're going to use that period of time to get those muscles to decrease their firing, allow for better movement of the pelvis and a change in the position of the pelvis. So we'll do it one more time. Hand on the hamstring, ask them to push against you with a gentle contraction. Seven to ten seconds is the magic time for that. And then he relaxes. We shift our hand underneath the pelvis, encourage that posterior rotation using the leg as a lever and the bottom hand to pull the pelvis down to create that uh, posterior rotation to correct the anteriorly rotated and it. So we can do that three to five times or until we feel like we're not getting any further with that and then we stand them back up, retest, and see if that's made any change in the positioning for that pelvis.